Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day. Today we are going to be talking about method overloading and method overriding and their differences in how to spot them. This is very useful to know on interviews and for tests. Let's get started. As you can see here, I have two classes in my basic project I made. I had a child and a parent. The child inherits from parent. And in my parent class, you can see here, I just have a blank main method and I have a talk method, which just prints out hello and is void. So it does not return anything. Now I have a, another talk method in my child class that simply calls the parents talk method. And it does that by doing super dot talk. Remember super is a reference to the parent. In this case, the parent object but also, you know, the super class of your object. So in this case, the super class is parent, obviously of class child. When I, I use the override tech, I mean, text here, which is automatically put here by IntelliJ, but you do not need it to override a method. As you can see, this is an example of method overriding. And that's because this method talk, if called in the child class takes precedence over the parent method. And what I can show you here is that if I were to go to my parent class and make a parent object, sorry, a child object, and we'll call child C and make it a new child with a blank instructor and then call C dot talk. And then I run this program. What you're going to see here is I get simply the text. Hello, like I should. Now, if I go to my child class and override this, instead of talking or communicating with my parent class with super dot, super dot talk, I simply do system dot print out dot print, print line, you know, um, I am the I am the child and then we'll cry and we'll do wow, wow, wow for crying and then I ran my parent object, I ran all this code, I simply get I'm the child wham wham wham. So when I ran, when I obviously I made a object of type child and then it ran the talk method. And before I just ran super dot talk, which is the parents method. Now, just to show you if I got rid of this code and ran my function, which I'll do right now, I'm going to delete it and run this code. I simply get hello. So before I had overridden it and I just made a call to the super class, the, the parent class, which is literally the class parent as it's called. That's why it's a little confusing, but the super class and it called this talk method. Well, when I got rid of this, and called talk, as you can see right here, it searched child and it saw that there was no implementation of the talk method. So then it looked up the hierarchy. It looked up to its super class and it looked at the parent and saw, oh, talk is defined. And if it didn't find talk, it would look up again. And every object automatically inherits from object. There was an object that's actually called object and I could do extends object. And that is the object it's talking about right here. So every object you create in Java has a super class, whether you like it or not. It, if you don't extend anything, it implements from object. And if you do, it, ex it extends from whatever you inherited from, just to make sure you always have inheritance in Java in a way. So that's method overriding when you take control of a method. Now let's go over method overloading. And we can go over method overloading by again, creating new methods. Now I'm going to create two methods and I'm going to call them walk. So I'm going to make a walk method with no parameters. And then it's going to simply print out, you know, whatever I want to print out system dot print line for this is for ease. You could have any functionality in it. Uh, print uh, walked today. So you walk today. So this is one method and to have method overloading, you at least need two methods because I'll show you what the definition of method overloading is. Um, 
method overloading is when you have methods with the same signature but different parameters. And what I mean by signature is the return type and the name match, but the parameters are different. And so in this case, I'm going to have a method that has the same return type void and the same name walk and, but it has not and, but it has different parameters. So it could either have parameters of different types or a different number of parameters. So in this case, it has one parameter instead of zero parameters. And so in this case, instead of walked today, I'm going to say walked plus, I'm going to use string, conne string concatenation to do walked plus you know, miles, that variable, and then add to this string in today, miles today. So then I could call walk with a variable or with a parameter, or I could call walk with no variables, and so with no parameters. And so when I go to call walk here, you can see here I can use walk with miles or walk, you know, with no parameters. So then I could do c.walk23 and it would say walked 23 miles today with no spaces. Perfect, that's exactly what we wanted. So that's method overloading. That's when you load up methods of the same name and return type, but you have different parameters. So that's method overloading. You load all these different methods. So maybe you have methods that you know have default settings. So you know, if you just want to say, oh, you walked 10 miles today, so you automatically walked 10 miles by the default, you can just call walk. But if you want to put in an exact parameter, or to, you know, you can then use the walk method. So that may be a case when you want to use method overloading, or you just have methods that you really want to name the same thing, but they have different cases. Maybe you have, you know, walk to work, or, you know, get to work. And maybe there's a way you get to work with a car so it takes less time, or you get to work with a plane, or you get to work uh, walking or scuba diving, whatever your imagination is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and make sure to subscribe if you really like this video. And let me know if the sound is good. I'm really working on the sound. Thanks, guys.